Hello! I wanted to read you a book called Harold's Treasure Hunt. And this is all about a little boy named Harold who, with the help of a purple crayon and his imagination, creates an incredible story about pirate ships and pirates. Let's find out what happens. Harold's Treasure Hunt. One clear night, Harold got up and went for a walk on the beach. He took his purple crayon and he asked the moon to help light the way. Oh, you can see he's drawn a moon up here. The beach was empty and peaceful as all the families went home. The salty smell of the ocean reminded Harold of tales of pirates and adventures on the high seas. Now he's drawing an ocean for us. He decided to find some pirates to join in on their adventure. Harold knew that the best place to find pirates was on a pirate ship. <gasps> what do you think he's starting to draw here? What does that look like? He found an anchor with a big chain. It went up and up and up. Harold was sure that a ship must be attached to the other end. So up he climbed. <gasps> what do you think he's going to find at the top? He put a porthole at the top of the chain so he could climb aboard. There might be treasure, Harold thought as he climbed in. Harold hoped the pirates would be asleep since it was nighttime. He knew that pirates could be grumpy if you wake them up, so he stayed quiet so as not to disturb them. Harold checked and made sure that everything was ship shape. He wondered what it would be like to be a pirate. Oh. He made a pirate hat and he used his purple crayon just like a sword. Well, look what I've got here. I've got a little pirate hat myself and woo, I've got a pirate sword. So I'm now a pirate just like Harold. Let's see what happens next. He jumped around pretending to be a pirate Arr! until, uh-oh, a pirate came along. He was indeed grumpy, so Harold gave him his hat back. Harold asked the grumpy pirate about the treasure. He didn't seem to want to talk about that. The grumpy pirate waved his sword. Harold wondered what the pirate might be trying to tell him. Eventually, Harold got the point. The grumpy pirate wanted him to walk the plank. Harold knew that pirate life was not the life for him. Harold inched backwards, but he lost his balance. As he began to fall, he wondered if the water below would be cold. What do you think? Harold fell down, down, down through the air, holding his crayon tightly. Harold held his breath. Frenzy dove under the water. Harold wondered if there was treasure to find under the sea. He swam deeper and deeper until he found someone who might know. It was hard to see under the sea, but he spotted something nearby. Was it treasure? Harold had a strange feeling that he was being watched. Suddenly, an octopus floated by. With eight arms, eight arms, oh my goodness, an octopus should surely point him in the right direction, Harold thought. Unfortunately, they didn't see eye to eye. So Harold swam on looking for someone else who might know. He came upon a smart little fish. And then another, and another, and another, until Harold was swimming with a whole school of fish. He asked if they had learned of any sunken treasure. 
They didn't seem to understand. No matter, Harold thought. He was happy to have some company. But they were moving very, very quickly. Harold wondered why they were in such a rush. Suddenly, <gasps> uh-oh, what do you think is coming? <gasps> Suddenly, another fish came into view. It was much bigger than the other fish. Harold wondered if this was their teacher. Do you think that's the teacher or what else might it be? We read a book not too long ago about what I think it might be. <gasps> then he realized what sort of fish this was. It was a shark. I knew it. It was a shark with lots of sharp teeth. Harold clutched his purple crayon and swam away as fast as he could. I would not want to get caught up with a shark. He swam to the bottom and quickly made a safe place to hide. <gasps> Look, he's hiding himself behind some seaweed. That's a very smart idea. When the coast was clear, Harold set out again. He was feeling tired from all the swimming, so he decided to walk. Then something in the seaweed caught his eye. It was a mermaid. The mermaid was part fish and part person. Harold asked her if she knew where to find the treasure. But she was busy playing with the starfish and didn't want to interrupt. So Harold climbed onto the back of a giant sea turtle that was swimming by and asked her for a ride. Look at that, he's right on top of a sea turtle. Harold had heard that sea turtles were fast swimmers. They took off at top speed. Ooh, now he's really moving. The sea turtle brought him to the shore of a deserted island. Harold felt relief to be back on land again. This was just the kind of place where pirates would hide treasures, Harold thought, as he began to search. After a while, he found a cave. Harold knew that caves were damp and spooky. And it might even be filled with bats. He wished the moon could come and light the way. Oh, look what's coming out. Oh, the cave was dark, very dark, but Harold could tell that someone had been there before. He saw a picture of a horse and other animals on the wall, but there was no sign of treasure. Hmm. Harold was getting tired of hunting for treasure. He was starting to wish he was home <gasps> when he bumped into something. <sighs> Harold thought it might be a treasure chest, but it was very dark and he couldn't be sure. He needed some light. Harold wished he could see the moon or even better, the sun, but there were no windows in a dark cave. And Harold remembered his purple crayon. Harold drew the curtains and the sun shining nice and bright. And there under his bedroom window was the best treasure ever. A chest filled with his favorite toys. So he sat down and began to play. That is such an incredible story where it shows that we can use our imagination to create all sorts of adventures. Can you choose your favorite crayon and create your own story? What would your story be about? Would there be an animal in it? Would there be pirates? Would you be playing soccer? What would you be doing in your story?